The 2022 EuroPro Tour Championship takes place at Lockdown Golf Resort, with the top 60 in the Order of Merit battling out for five Challenge Tour spots. So next week we're delighted to say that we're hosting the EuroPro Tour, Tour Championship Finals. Um, so it's the grand finale of what's been a busy season for all the golfers in the EuroPro Tour. I suppose we're, we're lucky here in a way we have a connection. Uh, Damien Mooney is our golf pro here at the resort and Damien actually is a past champion on the EuroPro Tour. They, I suppose, came to us and said, you know, we love your venue and um, would you be interested? Um, so it's something we kind of dive into because we never, we've never we never hosted a week-long pro tournament here before. Um, so in a way, it's kind of a chance for us to see how our venue looks on Sky Sports Golf, for example, um, how our infrastructure here, how our setup um, you know, works for a pro tournament. So I know the course and what it entails has everything you need for a potential Irish Open or, or something bigger. This is also the last EuroPro Tour event to ever take place as the Tour is set to finish after this 2022 season. Having the course looking at its absolute best is probably the most important part for us. So Sean Riley, our course superintendent, he has done an absolutely fabulous job here and um, working hard all season, making sure that the course is where it needs to be. The par threes here are all over 200 yards off the black tees. So that is very much where I think the guys will make or break their scores. A um, couple of the par fives are still gettable in two. Um, you've got the index one par four is going to be close to 500 yards. There are four Irish competitors in the field at Loch Earn, and to preview the course, Ronan Malarney joined us for a round. Ronan, how are you? How is, uh, how's your season been, first of all? Um, up and down, I suppose. We were just having a chat about there. Um, probably not as, as consistent, maybe, as I'd like it to be, but like I was saying, probably always looking for what you don't have. So. That's what we're all looking for, I think. <laughs> we'll, um, I mean, naturally, we'll chat about the Open a little bit later on, but we're here at Loch Earn. The Tour Championship is next week. You're in the field. Um, have you played it before? No, no, it's my first time being up here. Um, so I heard about a lot of water. That's one thing I heard about. So plenty of golf balls, but um, oh, should we go? Yeah, well, look, I'll follow your lead. We're on the first here, so see us off. Play well. Four holes in. Mm. What do you make of the course then so far? Yes, yeah, lovely. Lovely. Nice, isn't um, it? it has a bit of everything. The first couple of holes were a bit open and the wind was kind of wind was howling, but the last couple have been really sheltered. Um, massive greens. We were talking that, about that in each of the holes. The um, greens are, are huge. Huge and sloping. Yeah. Um, a good pace as well. So it's uh, yeah, really nice. Really nice. Uh, it, it looks like the weather is going to be similar to what we have today, so yeah. a little bit damp, breezy. Yeah. How does it play? Is it play long? Yeah, it's going to play long. The ball's not really moving when it hits the fairway. So um, it will play long. But then again, hitting into the greens, it's kind of drop and stop. So kind of maybe take from the tee shot, it'll help in the approach play. Okay. You're uh, appreciating getting a look at the course the week before? Absolutely, with yourself, Johnny. What more could I ask for? <laughs> On the front nine, you've got the fifth, which is called Dovecote Carry. And the Dovecote was the original kind of emblem of the local area. So it's in the background of where the guys play 195 yards off the back tee. Um, across water, all carry into a kind of a 30 yard sloped green. So if you get a two there, you're doing well um, on, the, on the front nine signature hole. It's a big old piece of land. Oh, I get over the views. We're so high up here as well. <laughs> Pushed it, yeah. oh my god, don't you hate that? Nice shot. The signature hole on the course is the 10th, um, Emerald Isle it's called, so it's a risk reward par 4. The back tee is just short of uh, 400 yards, so 
the guys will be able to think about, you know, will I have a will I have a pop of this green? It's very much within range, but again, it's an island green, so the, the green sits out in the water. So you have to be very accurate if you're going that route. So Ronan, we're on to the back now and the rain has subsided. Yes, yeah, lovely now. How are you feeling? Good, a little bit warmer, a little bit drier, but uh, what a golf course. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we're both amazed by it, yeah. It's very Pretty nice. Good. So, um, I think we, we have to talk about what it was possibly so far the highlight of your year. Um, qualifying for and playing in the Open Championship at St Andrews. Mm. Talk to me about qualifying first. Um, so I had to go through first stage. First stage was 18 holes in Frilford Heath. Um, really good course, I think it's the right course. Um, did I win that? I think I was tied for first in that. It was I think three of us on the same score, three under. Sure. Um, and then second stage was about a week or ten days later in Prince's Golf Club down in Sandwich which was uh, a really nice part of the world and I was I think tied second there so uh, yeah it was good a little bit of a wait I was one of the first groups out so I had to wait for everyone to come in okay. which is not easy but uh, no it's all, it all worked out and so you uh, anyone who has kept an eye on like, Twitter and Instagram saw that you were doing your practice down at Dunbeg and, Dunbeg, yeah. and bumped into the, the man himself the big right, man right yeah, yeah. The Shambo. how was that yeah it's brilliant it's brilliant like uh, of all the pros to meet, he would have been the one I would I would have choose to to meet. Just just kind of the way he goes about things. I just I find it interesting. He's he's involved in the golf machine. Or that's what he grew up with, and that's what uh, dad's a dad's a golf machine instructor. So it was a lot of uh, a lot of questions for him. So it was interesting. But he was uh, he was like he couldn't have been nicer with his time. It was it was brilliant. He seems like a, a gentleman off the course. He seems like a lovely guy. Yeah yeah, re really nice guy. I couldn't like uh, it's easy for me to say he gave me a lot of time and everything, but like. Yeah, he, he he couldn't have been nicer with his time or playing information the whole lot. So it was uh, it was great insight to what it's like. And then the week of itself, the Open Championship. Yeah, like it's such a, it's a circus. I I was amazed at what goes with it. Like I've played St Andrews for the St Andrews Trophy, and we played the boy er, the boy Quake and the RNA Bear Series events. I've played it a whole rack of times. I'm lucky, but the uh, the infrastructure and everything that goes into it is like it's incredible. You don't even think about it. But uh, when you see kind of both sides of it, when there's nothing there, and then when everything is there for the open, it's it's like you barely recognise the place. But it was it was incredible. And how are you? How happy were you with your your golf for the, over the few days? First ten holes were good. First ten holes were I was happy, and um, and then after that, I don't know what it was. It lost some momentum, or but it, it just felt like a bit of an uphill climb after that. I was being honest, I was probably struggling a little bit going into it with my game. So I don't know was it the best timing, but. Um, yeah, I just have to you know, take take what you can from it. Hopefully, I get back there again. Uh, if you were to take one thing from it, what would it be? There's a good question. Um, huh. I don't know. Um, maybe that golf was hard. No. Um, I was amazed about how many of the pros. I mentioned this to you earlier. How many of the pros said? that if you had told them five or ten years ago they'd be where they are now they would have laughed you kind of look at these guys and you think oh they always expected to be where they are maybe some of them do but i talked to a good few of them and they were like i i just i would never would have believed anyone who would have said that i would be here either so quick or at all which i thought was uh which i thought was it was just interesting that's interesting especially given kind of what's coming up now next week yeah. the Euro Pro and the chance to kind of progress onto the Challenge Tour and mm -hmm. for, for a lot of players it's a it's a big opportunity for them to, to get to the next stage of you know wh where they dream to be like do you take solace in a week like the Open and talking to guys like that that you know you're you're not you're not far away from those moments yeah I suppose so yeah um yeah I think I think with golf like it's it's obviously really really fickle but like you don't know just like when you don't know when a bad shot's going to come you don't know when a good shot's going to come you don't know when a, like a purple patch will come with, with your whole game so I suppose it's kind of like how much bad golf can you take that's kind of the test of and can you stick through it and keep going and doing what you feel the right things kind of sticking to a plan so it's like, there's no doubt about it it's tough like but you, like every week is a new week so you you have a lot of chances and um, once you, once you stay out of like. Is this recording, Jenny? Yeah, it should be, yeah.
Talk us through the shot now, Johnny. How are you going to play this? Talk us through the shot. I'm trying not to smother it left <laughs> and more miss it <laughs> yeah. on high right. Um, anywhere on the shorter grass. Lovely. It'll be, it'll be good. I like it. Shorter grass. Lovely. <laughs> Time. Look, I mean, I'm, I'm available for hire. <laughs> it is incredible. The views yeah. around the lock, incredible. The Faldo course at Loch Erne plays 7,200 yards long with generous fairways and massive green complexes. With plenty of tough pin positions to challenge both tour pros and club golfers alike. There was a lot of water, a lot of really picturesque holes, um, loads of tee boxes, loads of pin locations, like you could play any number of backgrounds you want out there and you'd still find new things. I think the fairways are generous, but the problem is if you miss the fairways, you're gonna be, you'll be hitting another ball type of thing, especially with all the water. Like, just because there's a lot of long holes out here, it's not just, I'm gonna hit the driver, I'm gonna hit it hard. You do, it's kind of, it's, it's a good mixture of both. Couple of big hits required here now. It's a long course. Yeah, it is. If you play them all off the tips, it's, it's, it is properly long, this time of year especially. But uh, they've loads of tee box here, so there's a good variety. Does that make a good course, I guess, from the competitive side is options from the tee box? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And we were saying the whole way going around, the greens are massive, so you could have any number of flags. So it's, uh, yeah, there's so many options here. It'll be interesting to see how they set it up. And so the sun sets on our game today, but the Euro Pro Tour Championship at Loch Erne is only a few days away, and a champion will be crowned one last time. It's kind of win or bust for me, I suppose, because it's kind of irrelevant if I come second or 60th. Um, so I suppose it's somewhat freeing up to go to know birdies is the order of the day. Thanks a million. Thank you very much. Thanks a million. I really enjoyed it. Serious, thank you. Love that.